So, so technically now, Igbo is dead. Technically. So says UNESCO. So says UNESCO. And it's it's among heading, the languages declared dead. And is heading for extinction. In fact, if you look at the population, the demographics of Igbo people, they are scattered all over the whole world. And they, I'm sure that they are more in population than what people may be led to believe. But I've been, I, I think I heard that. There was a recent uh, yeah, listing, short list of languages that were made compulsory by so one of these uh, secret service outfits abroad. Yoruba was there, Hausa was there, Swahili was there, but Igbo was not there. Yeah, well, I mean, that report was like, was, was that like two years ago? Igbo was not I there. I can't remember. And you see, the continued use of Igbo as a public uh, information infrastructure, I think it's just symbolic. Because the Igbo person would rather speak English than Igbo. In fact, speaking Igbo is seen as primitive and unbecoming of the enlightened except perhaps Anambra dialect. That, because Anambra, Anambra dialect is a lot more refined and you can speak it you know, flexibly with English mixing in it and what have you. William, you the know. average, if, I, if I, yeah. I, mean, I don't have any statistics to mm. back this, any concrete data to back this, mm. but from my personal observation, mm. if you line up 10 contemporary Nigerians, young, maybe, I mean, with, with small kids mm. who are educated, nine of them, their children will not be able to speak their local languages, whether that's, it's Yoruba or Igbo or whatever other language. Uh, let Why me, is, that, uh, is that? Is that a correct let, observation? Let me just say that this thing gets worse with each coming generation. Our own generation, you see a lot of us could speak their native mother tongue. Maybe because we, were, we lived in villages or maybe in the cities, the language was still current. It has not been overtaken by events. I mean, how do you say things like gig, Twitter, or Instagram? I mean, ro this is era, era of mo rocket mo science. Mo so, words. Because the lang a language grows mainly by interaction, pristine inter interaction with civilization and new logic, where, which is an adaptation to native that, uh, you know, lexicon. But if you have a situation that you can hardly say a sentence without 70% of it being English, I mean, why do you even bother? With that so you find out that each generation is worse than the previous one because language attrition, because of the loss of currency, the acceptability of the language. Now, mm -hmm. speaking is even easier than reading. That is correct. They can't even read. How, how many? How many young people my can read? My own can kids read. can't speak. They can't read. I mean, they can't uh, read. Evil. I've, I've given them the books. Though that was not my motivation. Like I was saying, it was not like I was out to save the Igbo language as such. But when I began to find out these facts, I mean, my interest evolved from me writing this book as a hobby to what you found the account I gave in the book. You know. So, is, is, do you mm. see this as a crisis? Um, it depends. Is it, is it a on, big problem? It depends on what you mean. I, of course, it's a problem. You cannot wish it away. It's a problem because when you lose a sense of identity, it has a sociological and psychological problem it, uh, implications. I mean, you don't know where you are coming from. Where do you? How do you know where you're going? Hmm. Let me read something. Let me read something I I saw on the on the internet. Hmm. Um, for you and see let me get your view on that now it says here it's a wikipedia page okay. on Igbo language Igbo, Igbo is written in the latin trans no sorry Igbo is written in the latin script hmm. which was introduced by british colonialists mm -hmm. now let me read that again Igbo what well, is written in the latin script which was introduced by British colonialists. Mm. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, this mm. tells me that before the British came, mm. we probably were not writing. Um, there let, was no writing of Igbo uh, language, for example, they are, they or are, any of the local they are, languages. There are about seven attributes of civilization. One of them is alphabets, handwriting, social institutions, occupation, navigational instruments, uh, drama, and material wealth. Okay. 
Um, before the coming of the white man, I would like to believe that there were some form of written rather than oral communication, but it was shrouded in secrecy. I mean, you had to be initiated to a certain cult before you can re write. There, there were the institutions, the occultic institutions that predated even the coming of the white man. I would like to believe there were some kind of written, and that is why people can, for ease of reference, that is what kept the timetable and calendar of traditions. But with the coming of the white man, of course, the alphabet we have is not the native alphabet we were using. And some of them were limited literature because of uh, you know, problems of uh, vocabulary. There were fewer things you could express in your native tongue. William, yeah. I'm sorry I'll have to end this here. We are totally out of time. I wish you could go on and on I'm indeed very to, to explain that. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us on Channels Book. God bless you. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.